A couple of the podcasts that I really enjoy listening to is Re Revive Our Heart, Heart with Nancy Lee DeMoss and Deep Well with Erin Davis. She does a series once or twice a year. Revive Our Hearts is every day except I think every day during the week. I don't think she does anything on Saturday and Sundays. Um, but back in January, Erin put out a, a new series in the Deep Well, and I didn't get a chance to listen to it then, so I'm listening to it now. There are six episodes, and I'm on episode two. So I'm going to go sit down and listen to my podcast, do my quiet time, and then we'll get on with our day, see what this day brings. Before we get started cleaning up, I wanted to show you the uh, progress of my little herb garden, <clears throat> not herb garden, um, microgreens garden that I planted. Um, it's really weird that every other row has come up already, <laughs> and the other three rows have not yet, but I checked on the seed packages. Oh, I lie. There's one right there. That's come up in that row. But I checked on the seed packages and none of them are um, past their longest germination time. So I'm going to wait until then to decide if those seeds are not viable or not. Um, not really quite sure what to do about these. That's the radishes and they are growing really tall. In fact, they're hitting the top of the dome. But I don't want to take the dome off until all of the seeds are germinated. So, we'll just see what happens with keeping the dome on. And that's Olivia's basil project and three out of the four seeds that she planted have germinated and come up. made a big old um, roaster pan full of chicken thighs, chicken uh, chicken leg quarters last night. We had them for dinner and last night and there's probably enough meat there for another two meals. I'm going to fix chicken and noodles tomorrow and then the rest of the chicken I'll probably just debone it and put it in the freezer for later on down the road. But anyway, this pan did not get cleaned last night, so that is what I need to do. I need to get this uh, roaster pan scrubbed. It's a bit challenging because it doesn't quite fit in my sink. I would show how I do my meal prepping or meal planning I should say I said sure it wouldn't be a problem um, it won't be enough for a standalone video so I thought I would just go ahead and put it in with my day in the life because it is time to plan for March anyway my meals for March so I'll just kind of quickly go over how I do it and then once I get the um, March calendar all filled in, I will bring you back. But let's go over how I do it first. 
So what I've done, and it seems to be working out really well, is I have assigned each day of the week its own category or its own theme, however you want to say it. Sundays I do not cook. That is my day of rest. And we always, always have either a lot of leftovers in the refrigerator or we have frozen pizza in the freezer. Um, typically what I make on Saturday, I keep uh, in mind that we will need leftovers for the next day. So Sunday is my no cooking day. And I tell you, it is a blessing. I don't cook nothing. <laughs> no, no breakfast, lunch, or dinner. We don't sit down together. We just, when you're hungry, you get something to eat. My kids are adults. We're all adults in this house and they can fend for themselves. So I don't cook on Sunday. Monday is my shopping day. So every other day is my shopping. I, I shop every other week or every two weeks. So on shopping day, I pick up something quick and easy at the store to fix that night. Because if any of you know how hard it is to shop, you know, how tiring it can be to grocery shop, bring it all in the house. I film grocery haul videos. So I film my video, put everything away. Yeah. By the time all that's done, even if it's earlier in the afternoon, for me personally, I don't feel like cooking something big. So for the longest time, I've been doing chicken strips and french fries on shopping day, but lately it's been really hard to find chicken strips. So it'll be something like hamburgers, although beef is hard to find and very expensive. Um, it may wind up being chili dogs on shopping days, which my family would love <laughs> because hot dogs are easy, cheap, and so far have been able to find them. So um, let's see, let me figure out what my shopping days are for the month of March. Let's be shopping on the 14th and the 28th. So my, my tight, and what I do is to uh, remind myself what the um, theme is. I write it at the top of each week. So Monday's shopping day. Tuesday it's kind of, um, I don't know what the word is. Let me think. Uh, redundant? Not redundant. Stereotypical? Is that the right word? I'm terrible at thinking of words. Tacos. We have tacos on Tuesday, and it's not always just like tacos. It could be taco salad. It could be burritos. It could be uh, taco bake. It could be burrito bake. It could be anything that's taco-y-ish. Like one day in February, we had, um, oh, what do I call it? I can't remember what it's called, but you put like taco meat and beans in the bottom. You cook it in the bottom of a cast iron skillet, cover it with um, a layer of cheese and then with uh, cornbread, you know, like the cornbread before it's baked. Then you pop it in the oven. T tamale pie. Thank you. <laughs> See, my brain catches up eventually. Tamale pie, stuff like that um, on, ta on Taco Tuesday. Wednesdays is... Uh, crock pot crock pot day and this is one of my favorite I've got several of these fix it and forget it uh, crock pot cookbooks and I love it I love the fix it and forget it um, brand or title or whatever um, my words are just not coming to me today but anyway I'll go through here and I'll pick out um, crock pot meals for Wednesdays Thursdays, I, I'm calling it my Trim Healthy Mama day, and I've got a, I've got three different Trim Healthy Mama cookbooks. This one is my favorite, but um, I also like this one too. And I'll just pick out our favorites because honestly, I really like the Trim Healthy Mama program. I have been struggling with it quite a bit lately. And my problem with the cookbook is a lot of the ingredients used in the recipes don't agree with my digestion. If you're new to my channel, I have irritable bowel syndrome, very, very food sensitive. I have 
to be careful what I eat. And so a lot of the recipes in these cookbooks are heavy on foods I can't eat, like beans and cabbage. I can eat some cabbage, but not a lot. Uh, last time I ate cabbage, I felt horrible for two days, so I won't be eating cabbage again for quite a while. Cauliflower, I can't do cauliflower. I mean, so it's really challenging. Let's just suffice it to say, it's challenging to find recipes in these cookbooks that I can actually eat. <laughs> I've also found that the ones that are higher in fat make me feel awful, so I have to stick with the low fat ones. So yeah, so anyway, that's why I only have one week, one day in a week that's specifically Trim Healthy, Mo Trim Healthy Mama recipes. Um, although for the rest of the month, I try to stay within the Trim, Trim Healthy Mama program and I, I do everything low fat because my body doesn't like fat. It makes me feel sick and I just don't like it at all. Some people just love like the keto if I had to eat keto, I'd probably die because it just makes me feel so horrible. Um, Fridays is pasta day. Not that we can't have something like sometimes from the crock pot meals, you uh, put it over noodles or you have serve it with pasta. And sometimes we'll have pasta as a side dish. But on Fridays, we have pasta like spaghetti, goulash, macaroni and cheese. Although I'm dairy-free, we use dairy-free cheese, but I've found a really yummy recipe for dairy-free uh, oven macaroni and cheese that's delicious. Um, yeah, stuff like that. Chicken and noodles, etc. cetera, will be, will be Friday pasta day. And then Saturday, in the winter months, we do soup. And then in the summer months, we will do salads. And it's getting kind of towards that time of year where sometimes I might want a salad because the weather is starting to warm up. Uh, my family doesn't like to eat soup when it's hot, especially my husband. And I think it's all just a mental thing, but he's like, oh, I eat a hot bowl of soup on a 80 degree day. I just can't stand it, even though we have air conditioning. So anyway, it doesn't make sense to me, but I don't make soup in the summertime. So, um, Using that guideline, I also go back, I usually don't go back to the previous month uh, because I don't want to have the same thing too often, but I will go back to two months back and I will look here first, see what we haven't had in a month, and then we'll put it on the list. Sometimes, like I said, we've got favorites that we do every month and I will uh, put that over. I try to stick with recipes that my family loves and I already know, like the tried and true ones, but I do like to throw in new recipes on occasion just to give it a try. You know, maybe it will become a new favorite. So let me go ahead and just fill this out and I'll bring it back and show you what I came up with. So here it is all filled out. Um, I did want to mention that um, I, after I write down um, what I'm making, if it's actually a recipe that I'm following, I will write the page number. Um, since this is, Wednesday is the crock pot day, I already know it's in the crock pot cookbook, so I don't have to write that. But uh, for like Trim Healthy Mama day, because I have three different Trim Healthy Mama cookbooks, I will not only write down the page number, but I will write down which cookbook it is in. So that when you go to make supper, you're not frustrated because you can't find the recipe. So I do all that work ahead of time. Um, Thursday the 3rd is Scott's birthday and he chose uh, a recipe that just happened to be in the Trim Healthy Mama cookbook. So that worked out well. He wants the Bang and Ranch chicken uh, drumsticks for his birthday. Um, now we will be having cake that day, which is not Trim Healthy Mama, but whatever. Um, also, I wanted to mention that this is just a rough outline. Um, it, it gives you, it takes some of the thought processes away uh, on a busy day when it comes four o'clock and it's time to start thinking about what you're going to cook for dinner or supper, whichever you say, I kind of interchange that word. Um, 
you can just look in your calendar and say, oh yeah, that's right, that's what I had planned. And that's one less thing you have to worry about. But there are times when I look at, like if I look at it in the morning, which is actually the best time to look at your menu plan, and I'll say, oh, I've got that scheduled for today. I'm not hungry for that. I don't really feel like cooking that. Um, I can choose something else that's on the, the menu for that month, or I could choose something completely different that's not on the menu. So this is just like a rough, loose guideline to kind of help you through your day so you don't have to, so that you have one less thing to worry about. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. But that's just how I do my um, meal planning. For my lunch today, I'm going to just make um, a little egg scramble. Um, I can't eat a lot of eggs, but I can eat one egg now and again. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to use a couple slices of this ham. I'm just going to dice it up and fry it up. I'm going to use probably a third of this zucchini. I'm going to save the other third to go with our dinner tonight. I use about half of, half of this wedge of onion. Dice that up real fine. Fry all that stuff up, scramble up the egg, pour it on top, cook it real well, and then sprinkle some of this uh, plant-based cheese on top, cover it, and when the cheese is melted, I will eat it. So I will show you a picture of my plate when I get this all done. Oh my goodness, it is 2.45 in the afternoon and I just got done editing this video up to this point which is good because then it saves me time later this evening and I was doing bills and balancing the checkbook <sighs> checking account we don't really use a checkbook anymore these days but oh I hate that job so bad and I'm really bad about procrastinating it and then it two months go by and you're supposed to do it every month sometimes three months go by and then it's a massive job, but luckily only a month had gone by, so I wasn't too terribly behind. But I just, I just hate that job. Um, if we were super rich and everything, it might be easier. But yeah, I think we're all feeling the crunch right now, and prices of everything keeps going up, and I'm not working anymore, so our income is down, and. So, yeah, and Scott's missed quite a bit of work lately between being sick and snow. So this time of year is really challenging, and I kept keep thinking property taxes are going to be due soon. They're due in May. Ugh. It's always something, isn't it? Our, our washing machine died uh, all over the weekend. So thankfully, Scott thinks he knows what's wrong with it. He ordered a part still was like close to a hundred bucks for the part and hopefully though hopefully that takes care of it because he was pricing new washing machines oh my goodness they're expensive <laughs> and just for i don't want a fancy one i don't want a computerized one i just want one where you turn the knob and push the button and it goes i don't want any of the computer chips and all that stuff and just for like a basic washing machine it was like 600 bucks or something ridiculous so anyway, um, I've got a headache now. <laughs> so I'm gonna fill my diffuser, fill my um, humidifier, get that going, because that really helps with my sinus headaches. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'm not sure what I'm gonna do this afternoon. I think I'm gonna just sit and chill out for a little while. Travis really, really wants tacos, which it's Tuesday, and we do tacos on Tuesday typically. Um, the last few Tuesdays we haven't. It just hasn't worked out. But he really wants tacos, so um, I'm going to get prepping uh, supper here after I just chill out for a bit. But I'm going to get my diffuser going. And Olivia just gave me an excellent title for this video because she just reminded me that today is Tuesday, T-U-E-S-D-A-Y, but it's also Tuesday, T W O D A Y, because it's February 2, 22nd, in 2022. So it's all twos falling on a Tuesday. And she said somebody um, put it into a computer to calculate when this would happen again, and it's a ridiculous amount of years away. So this is a special Tuesday. 
it makes sense we'd have tacos on Taco Tuesday. <laughs> So thanks to this whiteboard, I was able to get my other one done, the one that took me about two years to get done. It's downstairs um, in my office slash craft room. I'm gonna eventually frame it, and um, I wanna put like a gallery wall of diamond dot paintings in my bedroom. I think that's what I wanna do. So anyway, um, now I'm able to start on the one that my friend Carolyn sent me. It's of koala bears. And this is interesting because on this particular one, the only part that's sticky are the koala bears themselves. And the back, like the background, is the canvas. So that's kind of cool. So yeah, maybe I'll work on this a little bit this afternoon. Oliver. Slimy. What are you doing? Licking. He's sliming me. We well, noticed that it's a beagle thing, I think, with the paw. And every time we pet him, see the paw? The paw goes up. <laughs> oh, Oliver, you're so silly. <laughs> oh, that tongue. He likes his armpits to be rubbed. <laughs> what I ended up having for supper, kind of like a cross between a nacho and a taco salad. Had lots of veggies on top. I just didn't want a flour tortilla. Uh, all we had were the really giant burrito ones and that's just too much, too much shell for me. So I went ahead and just had this, but it's delicious. It's one of my favorite meals. Anything taco. I absolutely love it. All right, friends, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. It's been uh, kind of a lengthy vlog today. We had a good day. It was not too busy, but busy enough. And I'm glad I got the bank account balanced. <laughs> got that job done for another couple of weeks. Should do it every week, but I know myself, and I won't do it every week. All right, friends, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. And thanks so much for watching. We'll talk to you later, friends. Bye-bye.